Hey guys and welcome to another vlog. So it's actually still Tuesday, so same day as my last vlog ended. But I just got this from Etoile. They sent me their vanity table. I already have the vanity mirror, so I didn't want to set anything up until the table was here. So Peter and I are going to put it together um, and start setting up my makeup room. So I'll probably do a little time lapse like I've done in the past but I'm super excited to finally start putting together my makeup room. How pretty is it? I seriously cannot wait to get paintings and I'm gonna get like a I'm not sure what I'm gonna do <sighs> or what I'm gonna do with the rug I don't know whether to center it or have it against the wall we just literally just tossed everything in um, but yeah I've got like a little display unit there which I'll put in the corner not sure what I'm gonna put behind yet. Maybe a little like couch or something. I think I might put my full length mirror in here for now until we get our doors replaced, but I am obsessed. I'm gonna get a cool painting for there. Maybe even a chair there, honestly, not sure. I need to get a chair for here. I need to get a stool, um, but yeah, progress. Thank you so much, Etoile. And my rug again is from Miss Amara. It's the Evelyn rug for those that were asking, but I'll leave it linked down below. This is from Kmart. A lot of you guys um, commented on my last vlog haul, both from Kmart. These all came separately though. These and these came separate and then the vase and the pink flowers and the leaves were like all together. Like you can't actually remove them from the vase. And then that's just a little stool there. I think I'm gonna end up bringing my pink chair in here and my mirror um, just because I think it would look real cute in here and then maybe for my room don't know if I'll get another pink chair or maybe grey to make Peter feel better <laughs> he doesn't really mind but I just think the pink chair would look cute in here um, and then I was thinking maybe obviously that's gonna not be there but um I need like some sort of shelf or another sort of table so I was thinking of getting a like one of those cube like four by four cubes that way I can put some stuff on display and then I can put my etoile acrylic makeup things on top of them for display as well um, just because I don't really have that much room in here this is just probably gonna be for my everyday products I'll have all my brushes over there I still need to get a chair I probably just would get the same chair that I have in my filming room, to be honest. Um, I might get a nice plant here, like a high plant. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that. That might be going in my filming room, but yeah. And then get some paintings and prints. Not sure which ones yet, but I'm super excited. Oh, also, I'm gonna put that together as well. Maybe when we get back from holidays, it's just this from Ikea. And I thought I would display all my pretty makeup in the corner there or maybe even put it there. I'm not too sure yet, but there is actually no, I wouldn't be able to put it there because of the PowerPoints. Um, I think I'm going to change the curtains to like a sheer pink or just like pink ones. Um, I do need block out curtains because of the light, but yeah, I think I'm going to get different like a different style. I really want like a little chandelier here. Peter said he'll put down lights in. I'm like, this is the light. Like it's not very bright. Um, so he might put four down lights in and then maybe I'll have a, I really want a chandelier, but he'll probably say no. <laughs> 
Also the Dyson's freaking amazing best investment ever. This is the V11. Freaking amazing. Worth a thousand dollars. Um, yeah. Okay. I gotta go. Hey guys, so I was planning on doing a face mask straight after the gym because I'm going to go get my hair done at Boho Blonde in Perth. Um, I'll leave all of their Instagrams and stuff down below, but I'm not getting color. I'm just getting a toner and maybe a cut and a blow dry. I'm so excited. I haven't had my hair like done in over maybe five or six weeks. I was going to do my um, Sand and Sky face mask before I left, but I don't have time now because I'm getting picked up soon. So I will show you guys um, or I'll give you guys a little review on it when I get home. So I thought before I put on some makeup, I'm going to try out the Sand and Sky Emu mask. I might even just... That'll do. Um, so I got sent these in PR the other week. Let's close this, turn the line on. Oh, that's a bit better. So yeah, I got sent these in PR the other week. And yeah, I've seen these all over Instagram. Everyone seems to be raving about it. So it's the Australian Emu Apple Super Bounce Mask. And it says on the back, beat the dull and bring on the bounce. Our Australian glow berries include Emu Apple, no, is known to be rich in antioxidants, plus cat. A cac udu <laughs> um, plum considered to be one of the richest sources of vitamin C to help revitalize the skin. So, this is what my skin looks like before. I don't have anything on it, like, it's probably just freaking oil because I've been out and about today. But yeah, I'm just gonna give it a go. It came with a little um, thing to put it on with. Ooh. That's what it looks like. Just gonna tie my hair back. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try. And they also sent me these drops as well. Um, the Dreamy Glow Drops. You can use this like to mix in with your foundation. You can use it post mask. You get an epic glow with this potent B face serum. It does say to um, shake it before you use it. Water phase, a unique blend of five types of hyaluronic acid to help skin appear plump with moisture. Australian Glowberries Moisture for a radiant glow. And again, that word, kakadu plum, helps brighten the skin. I'll put that on after the mask and I might use it on my lips to hydrate while my mask is drying. So here's the mask and it comes with a little applicator. Ooh. They didn't lie when they said it's bouncy. So I'm gonna apply the mask. Oh my god, it smells so good. I've got a little bloody pimple there. Oh. I'm just going to apply that evenly. Alright, it does say to leave it on for 10 minutes and then rinse off with warm water. So I'm just going to relax for 10 minutes. I might put some of these drops on my lips to hydrate my lips. So I did see someone using it. Oh, whoa. That is really, really nice. I like how it's flavorless as well. Okay. I will be back in 10 minutes and show you guys what my skin looks like. Okay, so it's been well over 10 minutes. I just did some cleaning. I still have a little bit left over. So, yeah, it mainly just like absorbed into my skin. Let's drop the light back on. I'm just going to use some warm water and gently remove it. Ooh, feels so jelly like. Bloody hell, my skin is glowing as hell. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Whoa. Oh, it feels amazing as well. <gasps> Wow, it feels like I just had like a facial or something. Wow. I'm going to put on these. I'm just going to shake it again and put a few drops on my face. Oh, that just came out real fast. Oh my God, this stuff is so soft. Whoa, look at my skin. Wow. My skin just feels really like, what's the word? 
plump but also like very very moisturized this is going to be the best base for makeup because i'm going to take a photo later so i thought while i have fresh hair may as well um put some makeup on and take a few pics so yeah that is my skin after if you guys want to check out sand and sky i will leave their links in the description box down below not sure if i have a discount code or maybe i can get one um, I'll leave that in the description box down below if I can. But thank you guys so much for sending me this. I'll definitely be using it more often. I freaking love the way my skin looks. Okay, I'm going to go and have something to eat. I think I might just have some Aldi bread with bacon and eggs. If anyone else like make something real yum and then you just make it until you get over it because that's me right now. I've had it like four days in a row. Um... Actually, I might put some on my lips because that was really nice last time. Hold on. Mmm. Yep. Nice. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I'm going to go have that and then I'll show you guys what I ended up getting from Ikea. I got this like display sort of stand unit for my makeup room. I'm definitely going to put my pink chair in my makeup room and I think I'm going to put my mirror there. Because if we are getting mirror doors, I don't want three mirrors. Um, so yeah, I will show you guys that when I go to assemble it. Hey guys, I just did my makeup in my makeup room for the first time and the lighting was amazing. And look how nice and radiant my skin looks after doing that mask. I'm going to try and do that once a week and see if I notice a difference in my skin. But um, I am wearing fake lashes over the top of my extensions. I am getting refills though very soon. Actually in two days. And I also completely forgot to let you guys know that I am getting my brows laminated tomorrow um, with someone called, I think it's Brows by Melanie or Melanie Brow Stylist or something like that. I'll leave everything in the description box as I always do. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna jump on the trend. So for those that haven't heard of brow laminations, it's basically a, pro okay, I wouldn't say it's a procedure, but it's like a treatment where they permanently raise your hairs. So it looks more natural and looks more like strokes. So it kind of, I would say, gives the illusion of like feather touch tattooing but your hair's all in the one um, position facing upwards. And it just gives the illusion of like a fluffier brow, a more natural brow. I do have my brows tattooed, but I'm very curious to see what they're going to look like. I do have product in them now, um, what they're going to look like um, laminated. So I'll take you guys along and vlog my experience. Um, so yeah, that's super fun. Um, and then I'm getting my lashes done. Not tomorrow, but the next day. And I'm so bummed that the thing that I was meant to go to Sydney for was rescheduled because I was actually so excited to share it with you guys. It's so exciting. Um, but yeah, they just had to reschedule because I'm actually not really sure why. Um, but I will definitely share that with you guys. Um, then another thing that I wanted to jump on, not really announce, but um, I did actually mention in my stories that something to do with jewelry is coming soon i've been researching and i've been wanting to do this for so freaking long nothing's really set in stone i don't even have like a logo or anything i'm not even 100 percent sure on like what the brand name is gonna be um, or anything like that yet. All I've been doing basically is just researching, researching, researching. I want the best stuff for you guys. Um, I've always been obsessed with jewelry. Like even as a young girl, I always used to love wearing jewelry. I'm a ring type of girl. I always wear rings. Like you'll never see me without rings. I always have my bracelets on. Um, and I'm the type of girl that wears jewelry 24 7 and i don't want to take it off so i do want to make you know sterling silver and gold plated or even like 9 to 12 karat gold jewelry um some really really quality pieces um and i also do want to design some um from scratch and i do have some designs in mind so i've just been 
back and forth with heaps and heaps and heaps of um, manufacturing companies, but um, I, I don't think it'll be anytime soon just because I, it's still very early stages and I wasn't actually going to, you know, like talk about it yet just because I feel like nothing's really done. Yeah, I just haven't really got the ball rolling as much. It's just been like at the back of my mind for a few months now and I've just been researching the whole time kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. I, I don't want to promise anything, but hopefully mid next year it could be sooner i'm not sure but yeah it's just i don't know like it's just something i'm really obsessed with i honestly get messages every day saying oh my god love your jewelry where'd you get that necklace where'd you get your bracelets love that so i'm gonna literally recreate stuff that i have so you guys can get it as well because i know a few things of mine i have are either quite expensive or um I just got given it like my grandma gives me a lot of my jewelry um, like that heart locket necklace is actually my grandma's um, so yeah and also this one actually was gifted to me by a di um, Adina's jewels it is gold plated so I don't know with gold plated it's like a bit of a hit and miss whether you, you can leave it on in the shower I know Louis Vuitton sorry I didn't mean to like give you the finger this will tarnish louis vuitton is gold plated but i don't know i've just heard people saying that theirs have tarnished so i don't wear this underwater so yeah it's just really early stages and i just don't want to make promises yet but it's i just obviously want to share my whole entire life and journey with you guys so yeah it's just something i've wanted to do for maybe six months now but i haven't you know taken the next steps for it until kind of the last few months so yeah it's definitely something that i want to do next year um so that's going to be a massive project of mine and also peter and i are working on something as well well possibly still not a hundred percent but we'll both be investing in it and it's something pretty massive um so yeah, I can't wait to share that with you guys. I'm not gonna say it yet just because it could fall through. We could change our minds. We might underestimate the cost of it all. So we're just not like a thousand percent sure, but Peter's wanted to do this for so long. And I was like, look, like you only live once. Just, you don't know if you don't try, honestly. I'm there to help you like along the way. I will help as much as I can. Um, but yeah, it's just something that he's wanted to do. He's really passionate about it. Um, and I know you guys are going to fucking love it as well. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to say too much about that yet. But next year is going to be my fucking year. I can just, I can just see it. I'm, I'm just like imagining everything coming together and it makes me really excited for the future. Anyways, um... Yeah, so I just want to share that with you guys. Peter's just gone to the gym. I think I might just make um, the prawn cauliflower fried rice again because Peter really liked it. I was like, <laughs> you know, you could just like put a ring on it. Wife me already. Like, what's taking you so long? No, I'm joking. <gasps> um, we've only really been together. Like, it's so funny because I feel like we've been together for like five years. Like, that's what it feels like. But we only really met two and a half years ago. So I wouldn't say we've been together for that long. I would say maybe a year and a half because I wouldn't obviously count Kentucky as being together. We didn't see each other for three or four months after that. Then we went to Bali, but we still weren't together. We just went as like friends. But I guess that's where it kind of developed into something more so it honestly hasn't even been that long and here i am in perth freaking moving in with him like what is happening but now i'm happy and that's all that matters so yeah i just want to share my future projects with you guys can't wait to share the other projects once we get the ball rolling but as soon as we decide 100 percent and we get the thing that you need to get then I will 100% share the whole entire journey with you guys because that'll be freaking fun to vlog. Like, wow, really fun. Okay, 
gonna stop um, teasing you guys now. But yeah, I'm gonna start prepping dinner um, and do the dishes because there's quite a bit to do. And I will update you guys when I start cooking dinner. So I just got back from the gym. I did a RPM class, which is cycling. And then I went to my PO box to get some goodies. I got some of the new lounge collection. How cute is this top? And then it comes with a matching, um, like flared sort of, I don't know, like trackies, but a bit cuter than trackies. Um, and then their new silk pajamas, long sleeve pajamas. It's got lounge written on it. And then it comes with shorts, super cute and soft. I love lounge. And then I got some PR mail from Cremel Lab, which is a skincare brand. I got some iconic London products. Their highlighters are actually really nice. And then I needed some New Year's and birthday outfits because I'm actually going to two white parties. So I thought I would get some stuff from Meshki. So I got this top. I just fell in love with it online. And then it comes with the matching skirt, but I have a feeling that the medium might be a little bit big, but I'll try it on and see how I go for size, but how extra is this? I think this might be my birthday outfit. And then I got this bandage dress. It's like a halter neck, it's so nice as well. I got that in a medium because I just wasn't sure, but I can always return it for a um, different size. And then I saw this, which is like a um, t-shirt bodysuit. And I like how you can um, do it up on the sides. It goes up real high. So if you wear like high-waisted trackies or jeans, you can kind of see the slit here, which I thought was really cute. I got a medium in that too. I actually thought that this dress was white, not cream, but it's just a silk. I think this one's also a halter neck dress. You can't really see it well here, but I'll try it on anyways. And it goes like down, I think it goes down just past the calves. So not quite full length, but... Yeah, I thought it was white, but it's cream. Still cute though. Guys, I'm obsessed. So we put together the shelf and I filled it with a few things. Now I'm gonna have to go buy other stuff to fill my other bookshelves with. And I put some jewelry. I might put another pair of shoes. They're those um, storage things from Bunnings that I got ages ago. That's from Kmart, Ikea. And yeah, love it. This side's not so glam. I need to fix that. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that plant, but I've got my mirror in here. But yeah, this is what the room is looking like so far. It's coming together. Also, I just used the leftover vinyl to put on the ends of this. I think I'm gonna end up getting another one of these because I want these on both sides of my um, vanity desk. And I'll just display some of my makeup on there as well. So yeah, we're not going to build that probably until next year until Peter puts in the PowerPoint and we move it. I just want to see what it looks like first. Hey guys and happy Saturday. So yesterday I went and got my brows, not my brows, my eyelashes done from a lady in Perth. I think it's Vons Lashes and she, well, I try to find a place that uses my friend's lash brand called Bulletproof Lashes. I was trying to find a place that used my friend's brand Bulletproof Lashes just because I love them. I love the hybrids, like the hybrid extensions. So she did like a mix of hybrids and classics. It's so nice. I just did my makeup on my stories just now. And something exciting, I'm gonna go get my brows laminated today. I have just um, brow pencil in them and some setting gel. So I'm kind of curious to see what they would look like just laminated with no product in it. I think they do tint it as well, or they use like a henna, I'm not sure. Um, but I'll obviously vlog and show you guys what it looks like, so. I'm super excited. I'm also wearing my Jazz singlet, Stux X Jazz singlet, which I'm pretty sure it would still be available if you're watching this vlog. And then these are my Boohoo jeans from my haul that you guys watched with Peter. How freaking funny was it? But yeah, I just love them so much. They're so comfortable. Um, 
I actually didn't make a mess of my makeup for once. I was packing away as I was doing my makeup. I freaking love my vanity desk and the mirror. It's amazing. Um, I'm not sure if I showed you, but I did put my mirror that was in the bedroom in here. I just think it looks way better. Um, and I also just received... This is my Peter when he's not around. Oh, shit. Why am I turning the light off? I also received this. It's from eBay. I think it was like $10 or $15, but like, of course, because it's eBay and shit quality. Um, the nails don't screw in properly and they're not like secure on the base. So that's heaps annoying. I think Peter's just gonna either trim the nails because they need to be shorter. They like scent nails too long. Um, or I go to Bunnings and get new ones because I see BF returning them. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put that here, but I just like, Wanted it on display because it's really nice. Not sure what I'm gonna fill the rest of my stuff with. I literally just did it in like two seconds. I just grabbed all the stuff from um, my filming room, but that's my Desino print. Desenio? I always say it wrong. Um, they're my books from Booktopia. That's from Kmart. That's a Kim fragrance. That's a Zeba oil diffuser. Booktopia. Ikea. That's from Palm Beach Collection candles. Um, they're just my bags. That is also from Kmart. And then that's just some of my jewelry. That plant's from Ikea. So is the pot plant um, thing. Those are from Bunnings. And then I just use the marble vinyl again on the top and the bottom of this. This um, cabinet is from Ikea as well. Um, and then that's obviously all from Kmart. But you guys saw my other vlog. Um, and those shoes are from Princess Polly. They're the brand Bellini. They're so freaking comfortable. I love them so much. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much everything on my little cabinet. Um, that needs to leave. Pia needs to put this together. Um, but as I said, I am moving the desk, so it's here. So yeah, I'm gonna go and make my Genora. I literally crave it every morning, my Renew Plus collagen powder. I freaking love it. And I feel like it's really helped with my hair. Not only like the growth, but it just feels and looks healthier. Oh my God, I just got home. I'll show you guys in my beauty room because the lighting's way better. Are you guys ready for the reveal? <gasps> wow. I did actually brush them down a little bit. So, like, if I wanted them, I could have them like this. Like, brushed kind of upwards. If I wanted that fluffy, like, look. But you can either brush them like that. I love them. Look at that. Might just go like that. Eyeshadow went all gross because she waxed underneath them. But wow. I love them. Um, I'm just waiting for Peter to get home now. And then we're going to go to Maya and buy my Dyson. I'm so excited. Um, and then, yeah. We don't really have anything planned for the rest of the day, but we're going out for dinner tonight. We're not sure where we're gonna go yet though, but I made two reservations because I just wanted to make sure we got in somewhere. So I did a reservation for the Revelry and um, the one on Elizabeth Key that looks over. I think we might go to that one, but we're not sure. So yeah, I'm just gonna probably make some eggs and bacon because we need to eat a lot of food before we leave on tuesday to the gold coast um but yeah that's all i have to really update you guys on um she did say that my brows would get real dry so she gave me this oil to put on them um so yeah feels so weird but i love them good morning guys it's peter's birthday i'm just whispering because he's still sleeping but I'm just waiting for a balloon delivery. I ordered some more balloons for his birthday from the balloon fairy. I'm about to set out his presents here. And then I'm gonna, I was gonna make him breakfast, but there's no eggs. So we might do that later, but um, I'm gonna set up his presents here and then set up the balloons and I'll show you guys. <laughs> 
So I ordered these online. Ever since we went to America, he was like obsessed. I just realized he'll probably have this for breakfast. So he fucked the eggs off. Two boxes of Twinkies. <laughs> In there's a phone case, a wallet, and then a picture frame. I actually want to try them. I haven't tried them yet. Never tried Ding Dongs either. <laughs> How's the setup? Guys, look at how extra I am. <laughs> how beautiful are the balloons? I thought I'd do like matching theme to Louis Vuitton. How freaking cool. He's gonna be like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know if I should like put them over here though or leave them there. I might see what they look like over here because I might make it look bigger. I'm gonna open the blinds now as well. And then I'm gonna go wake him up. Okay, I just spread them out a little bit. I think that looks a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna go wake him up now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna film or not because he hates being filmed, especially when he wakes up, but obviously after. All right, I'm going. What did you get? Got a cute little wallet. <laughs> That's all Twinkies. <laughs> Ding dongs. I want to try one of those and I want to try these. Do you remember those M&M &M yeah. things? That ev I think these are like similar, except like a brownie yeah, version. And then his favorite cereal. And I had to get this because he loves palm trees. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so cool. We just got back from the city. We did some shopping. I got some more coffee table books. I got them from Booktopia. So I went to my PR box and picked some up. I also got this from my PO box, but I think I'm going to gift it to Peter's mom because she's obsessed with scrunchies. It's by the brand TSJC. I think it was something Samantha Jane, but I already have one of these in my wardrobe. So I think I might gift it to her because she literally loves scrunchies. I also went and picked up Peter's um, birthday cake, but... I got it from the Sugarless Bakery, but I'm not going to tell you guys now because he's here. He's going to the gym, so I'm going to decorate it with a few more things that I prepared. Okay, I had to put Oreos on top because Peter is literally obsessed with Oreos. And then I got this um, dinosaur chocolate mold off eBay and just put some Vitaworks milk chocolate in and put them on top. But it's a peanut butter caramel mud cake with cookies and cream. Like, what? The actual hell. How good does this look? Oh my God, it's amazing. Probably could have done better with the presentation. Like I was gonna put the Oreos around the outside, but I don't. I think I needed two packets, which I only had one and it would have just looked silly if I did it spaced apart. But that's Peter's cake. And then his mum's just gotten a two and a seven. And then I think some sparklers. But how freaking cool does that look? I'm so excited to eat this. I literally haven't had like barely any food all day because I'm saving myself for half of this cake. <laughs> Anyways, I thought I would end this vlog here because otherwise it's just gonna be probably over an hour long, but I'll definitely start a new vlog tomorrow because we are off to Queensland for Christmas, New Year's and my birthday. And yes, I will be vlogging over Christmas for you guys. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to really update you guys on. I've got to go pack. I didn't decide to go to the gym. Peter like has gym FOMO if he doesn't go. He hasn't gone for the past two days. He's like, no, nope, I need to go even though we need to be ready in like an hour and a half to go to dinner. We're going to a Chinese restaurant in Joondalup. I can't remember what it's called, but if it's good, I'll tell you guys in the next vlog. Um, probably won't be keto. I had Utopia today and that is like literally my guilty pleasure. I freaking love bubble tea. Even though I don't get bubble tea, I get the Oreo mocha smoothies. So good. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas, even though this is going to be uploaded way after Christmas. I will see you next year. Bye. You are fool's girl. Oh my God. Yes, I did.